What does the future of Scientology in downtown Clearwater look like? The leaders of the church held several closed-door meetings with a handful of elected officials in Clearwater. Fox 13's Dan Maddox waited outside those doors and got some answers on some of their plans. One-on-one, -on -one, behind closed doors, elected leaders who run the city of Clearwater met with David Miscavige, who runs the Church of Scientology. The chairman also reiterated that it is not his intent to control the downtown. The church continues to buy real estate, and they're talking with city leaders over how to redevelop and beautify the Cleveland Street District. Clearwater's mayor says the church is also interested in a vacant lot by the Clearwater Marine Aquarium and next to City Hall. Don't really have any specific specific plans in terms of what businesses would be relocated down here, but we just bounced around some ideas. But Monday's meetings are controversial. By meeting one-on-one -on -one with the mayor and city council members, they avoid Florida Sunshine laws, which require government meetings to be held in public. Doreen Cardell is the only council member who declined to meet with the church and feels the meetings should be open. I'm not uncomfortable, and I, I encourage them to actually be more forthcoming to the public. Councilwoman Cardell says, however, she looks forward to working with the church, an organization shrouded in secrecy and attracts a certain amount of suspicion. I meet with countless of people all the time. The mayor defending Monday's meeting, saying it was merely a preliminary discussion. You would have rather been, this been open to the public? Um, like I say, developers have ideas that they want to bounce off of each other. I reached out to the church to get their take on exactly how today's meetings went and what they're hoping to accomplish here. But as of my deadline, my phone call and email had not been returned. In Clearwater, Dan Maddox, Fox 13 News.